So there's been a ton of a debate about this dress color. Some people will see this as blue and black, other people will see it as white and gold, or other people will see it in between. Now, I have actually done research into this, and because of all the debating, I've decided to make a video explaining about what happens and why it happens. So, as you can see, the dress could be varying in color for you based on a couple of factors. First of all, based on the angle you're looking at, can change how it looks, as well as the lighting you're in. In a lighter lighting, it's going to look white and gold general the time. You can play with this by pausing the video and changing the lighting on your computer from dark to bright, and you will see the colors vary, mostly at least. But everybody's eyes do work differently, so some people might not be able to see it one way, and some people not might be able to see it the other. But right now, for me, it is blue and black. Or not blue and black. Yeah, blue, yeah, blue and black. Um, so, it really just changes in the lighting. It was white and gold for me earlier. And, pretty much, as you can see here, there's it in different lightings. In between, you can see some gold at the top, really, and then, like, a white, kind of blue, you know? Actually, it looks completely white and blue for me right now, based on the lighting. But, for most of you guys, it's gonna look blue and black and on the full right it looks blue and black and the full left it looks gold and white we can see based on different lightings all those are the same picture as you can see that's slightly darker there slightly lighter and the lightest is there the dress is actually white and gold but it can change based on the lighting you're in and people say it has stuff to do with emotions and negative things in your life, but that's all completely false. And considering everybody's talking about it, it should be explained. And now, not only does it have to deal with angles, it also has to deal with the pigments in the eye, the angle you hit it at, which is summed up right here. It enters the eyes through the lens at different wave wavelengths corresponding to different colors. The lights hit the retina in the back of the eye, where the pigments hit neutral connections to a visual vortex in the part of the brain that processes the signals into an image. And then it fires a burst of light to whatever the leg wavelengths are illuminating the world, reflecting off of what you're looking at. So pretty much based on how you look at it, it's going to change the general color. And considering people have been arguing about it, this is the original picture. And it can vary. As you can see here, it's just different lighting, which changes it greatly. And it's really complicated and it's one of the things that changes the most, and this is the most a lot of people will ever see with the same ob object of different colors. Now, if you are colorblind, I'm not sure what it'll look like based on what colors you are colorblind to. And it might vary in even different colors there, or it could remain the same. And as you can see, it's pretty much based on how it enters the eye. So, that's about how this is summed up. If anybody has any other further research they would like to share, comment that below and give an opinion, please.